Now that you know the key stakeholders and how they interact, this section will explore how SPD influences RMT. Overall, the outputs of SPD influence the calculations RMT performs and vice versa. SPD works in trading periods, which are 30 minute blocks numbered from 1 to 48 over a 24 hour period. For each trading period, SPD produces a schedule for the current trading period and the next 7 trading periods. The schedule is called the Non Response Schedule Short, or NRSS. SPD needs a range of information to produce the schedule, including how much reserve will be needed to cover the risk setter. Remember, reserve calculation is done on an island basis. RMT calculates the reserves needed to cover either an ACCE, DCCE or DCECE in each island, and whichever requires the most reserve becomes the risk setter for the island, also known as the binding risk for that island. SPD can produce a number of different schedules for different purposes. In this example it is producing the NRSS. It needs a range of information to produce a schedule. This includes how much reserve will be needed to cover the binding risk, the forecast load for those periods to be scheduled, and the power and reserve offers submitted by generation companies and interruptible load suppliers. Once it has these, SPD then produces the schedule and writes it to Transpower's market database. RMT generally runs once every 30 minute trading period. It requires a range of data to perform its calculations. The data includes the schedule produced by SPD and constraints on the HVDC link as supplied by the grid owner. RMT then calculates how much reserve needs to be scheduled to cover the binding risk and writes it to the database. You can see how RMT and SPD depend on each other for input and thus the calculations they perform. The process we just looked at was a forecasting process. To dispatch the real-time schedule to market participants, a separate real-time process runs simultaneously. In the real-time process, SPD performs calculations every 5 minutes that checks the real-time demand and factors in the most recent estimate of how much reserve needs to be scheduled. The results are then dispatched. This screen shows how the iterations progress through the trading periods. 